what is up? Hey, what's up guys? If you're getting this, it's because you are incredibly special. No, I'm serious though. Like, if you're getting this, it's because you actually are in a G2 group. And I wanna send this uh, kind of message out really specifically to you today. This past couple days, we've actually uh, had some people staying with us who are good friends from Pennsylvania. And while they were uh, at our house, they actually received a phone call from a gentleman who is, who's part of their church back home. And this guy called and actually wanted to talk specifically to one of the kids in this family. Now this kid is 12 years old. And this guy at this church is however old. He's an older, older guy at the church. And he calls and he says to the kid, he says, Hey, I just wanted to let you know that the Chicago Cubs beat the Milwaukee Brewers last night and have moved up in their position and in their standings. Now, I was absolutely fascinated by this phone call because I was like, here's this guy who is, who is taking so seriously this idea of building relationships with people, even if it's across like generational lines. And then I started thinking about our G2 groups and I started thinking about how important our G2 groups are to our church. Like this idea of, of gathering together on a regular basis every other week around God's word and prayer with, with, with another family unit from our church. But then the idea being that that group would actually grow around other disconnected people. And I just want to ask you today, are you inviting people into your group? Like, are you taking seriously, and do you understand how important it is to be building relationships with people, even at these incredibly like small levels of, hey, hey, the Chicago Cubs beat, beat the Milwaukee Brewers last night. Like, are we doing that? Because what I'm starting to see is that our Sunday gatherings are growing. And, and every single week, we have people who are coming and checking out our church and, 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 and who are disconnected from Jesus and are disconnected from church. We have to be moving them into relationships. And, and here's a tool at our disposal, our G2 groups, a way in which we can actually invite people into a time of fellowship with others so that, so that others can be brought into community. If we don't do this, and if we simply rely on Sunday mornings as the spot where discipleship is gonna happen, here, here's the reality. People will slowly feel like there is no community, and they will slowly move towards something else. The church, you guys, the church is a spot for community. The church is a spot for Jesus to do his thing in us, but also through us. I want to encourage you that, that you would begin to, or, or maybe even continue, but for some of you, it's begin to take seriously the growth of our G2 groups, but our, the growth taking place around disconnected people. We have to see those who are coming in Sunday mornings as, as, a, as, a, as a person or a family or whatever that's in need of community. Bring them in, invite them into your group. Do the hard work. And sometimes it's really easy work of building relationships like, hey, hey, the Cubs lost or the Cubs won or whatever. I'm gonna be praying for you guys that our G2 groups would grow and that more disconnected people would get connected to the body of Christ in that way. The Lord bless you guys. I know it's a challenge, but the Lord bless you guys as you kind of lean into that and make Jesus do great work in and through you.